Hey, beautiful people. So we're going to go into the day of battle. Um, I'm not going to do the day of rest in this video because, you know, I've already made a video about the day of rest. So we're just going into other days to look ahead of, look look forward to. Um, so the day of battle, we're just going to start here with Zechariah 14 and 3. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. But the day of battle is coming up again as in Hosea 10 and 14. In the day of battle. Now, Revelation 16 and 14. Let's talk about the day of battle. Because the, the battle of Armageddon, you know. Revelation 16 and 14. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of the Lord, of God Almighty. So the day of battle is the great day of God Almighty. So the day of battle is different from the day of rebuke. It's different from the days of tribulation. The day of battle. So Amos 1 and 14, But I will kinder a fire in the wall of Rabbah, and it shall devour the palaces thereof with a shouting in the day of battle. So the day of battle is something you need to look forward to. All right, with a tempest in the day of the whirlwind. What is a whirlwind? Like a tornado. Um, days of his anger. So, like, I'm sorry I didn't highlight this, but there be days, different days of God that people should be aware of and not just think it's one day. There be many different days of God's anger, um, vengeance, wrath, different days. He tells you the day of his wrath, the day of his anger, the day of salvation, the day of his rest. Um, now, Zephaniah 2 and 2. Before the decree bring forth... Before the day pass, as a shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So this is the day of the Lord's anger. So there be different days. Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord, all you meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, righteousness, seek meekness. It shall be that you shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. In the day of the Lord's anger. There be different days for these things. Um, day of tribulation. Day when Christ returns. So you know there be the day when Christ returns as well. Right? That is in Corinthians 1 and 8. I just didn't have it big highlighted. But it's right here. Um, right here. 1 Corinthians 1 and 8. Who shall also confirm to you unto the end that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Christ. Now, that day of salvation, everybody knows the day of salvation, but everybody, not everyone's talking about the day of God's wrath, the day of God's anger, the day of God's judgment, the day of God's rest. These be different days, the days of darkness. These be different days the heavens and earth need to be aware of. Now, day of salvation, everybody wants to talk about that, so I'm not going to read too much of these precepts because everyone knows that one. 2 Corinthians 6 and 2. For he says, I've heard thee from the in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. So, you know there's a day of salvation. I'm not going to get into those scriptures. And everybody knows the day of judgment. But there be many days before the day of judgment. Days of tribulation. Days of God's anger. Days of God's wrath. Days of God's vengeance day when Christ returns. Now, Matthew 10 and 15, Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. So you know there's a day of judgment. Matthew 10 and 15 tells you about that. Matthew 12 and 36 also tells you about the day of judgment. That be different from the days of vengeance. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Mark 6 and 11. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear you, when you depart then, shake off the dust off un under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. So, 1 John 4 and 17. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. 
but nobody knows the date. But these days are to be expected. Have a blessed day.